My name is Morinosuke Kawaguchi. I work for the Arsa de Rito. That is the consulting firm, which is specializing the uh, technology and innovation. And I am a consultant, and I've been working for the Japanese famous manufacturers, especially in the, the specializing for the technology, the planning or development R and D. And then going through all those projects, I've been, you know, noticing a lot of uh, new aspects to go through the new generation of the Japanese engineering, because Japanese engineering, as you know, it's getting stuck. You know that all those, you know, the brick, bricks or the following countries are catching up, and then now we are losing the way how to make the profit. And then this book is a summary and a crystallized idea on my whole project. I'm also the specialist of the subculture in Japan. The Japanese subculture is now it's going into very wide area, the very well known in. Entire world, especially the the girls' culture and the animation culture, and then in this book, I'm leveraging the Japanese technology and the sub subculture, how to find the new functions, in materializing into the specifications, and then make it into the manufacture. It's uh, now it's a time of the made by Japan, not made in Japan anymore. So the title is "Made by Japan Time." You know, the "Made in Japan" was the sign of the Japanese value before, because it was a good quality, reliability, and a good functions. But now, the mature maturization of the technology, Japanese cannot make the good profit anymore out of those specifications. Now, new functions we have to go find ourselves. These are the products I explained. Just a little example of the the products, the Japanese unique products. Now, for example, this is a wearable assist robot, you know, which is made by the Sankai Professor Sankai. It is world famous. And then, for example, this is the the Rika-chan. It's like a, the Barbie, but uh, this can uh, or you can order your own clothing or your Your company or your the school's uniform, so that it can be customized. So that's the service already for the the bar, Barbie like Rika Chan in Japan. So that is that became the good uh, the business model in Japan. You know the you just collect the order. It's like a Groupon uh, system. You know you just collect the customers and you get a certain number of the customer. Then they. Uh, they produce their your school's uniform into the this door, and then you buy it or you give it as a present when your son or friend graduated from the school. You as a memory, you give it as a present. That kind of business model is appearing. This uh, wheelchair is uh, uh, now 70 or 90 percent of the top uh, athlete. Uh, of the Paralympic is using this wheelchair. This is a very high-tech wheelchair, and it is also made in Japan. It's called uh, Wheelchairs Porsche, and that is a new Japanese uh, company. So, in this book, I explain it uh, the how to rescue the weak people is the new aspect or motivation of the designer. You know, instead of the good quality or you know you know the fun multifunctional quality. You know the new aspect is to rescue the the weak people. There are many weak people. You know, not only the physical handicap or mental handicap, just a little weak people, which is called uh, like a hobby war. Is a Japanese new uh, war. The Japanese you know, the adult guys, the young adult guys, are becoming so shy and they cannot say I love you because he they are so shy. That kind of people are also, in a sense, it's handicap. Because they are not mature, but the the tool can assess or service can assess, and it can make it into the specification of the service or the product. Japan is the future of the world. That's what I believe, because Japan has been proving 
we can produce as good quality as the so-called advanced countries. Now we are already in the advanced countries. And then now we notice what do we make is the biggest problem. We don't have the brand like a French brand or the Italian, you know, the high brand. If we make it a similar thing, it's just a damn copy. But uh, we, we can produce our own brand. And that is, you know, hidden in the uh, subculture's characters. Subculture's characters has a lot of uh, uh, personalities and a, a lot of stories behind. And all those young people in the entire world are fascinated in them. And then because, not only because the exterior design of those characters, but the, their mentality or the personality fascinate them. And then the, what the function of engineer has, has to the, the convert, the find out the functions, you know, product functions out of those, the character's mentality. And then we have that ment lot of story, you know, in the subculture. All we, the engineer has to do is to find out the uh, functions out of it. That's why I feel that Jap Japan now is going into the next stage of the you know, manufacture or you know, planning or planning the products or development of the products. So this is not only for Japan, but uh, all those you know, so-called advanced countries, now you know, so many followers are catching up. So it's becoming so short, dog ears becoming the mouse ear and becoming the ant ear, so short. It's speeding up every day, so you can't just uh, keep the, your own you know, orthodox style of the business. So the following countries has to run the problem what we have now, and also the so-called developed countries has to wake up from our aspect. That's my message. This is uh, not a purely business book or purely subculture book. This is combination of two uh, culture and uh, engineering. That's the biggest point of this book. It has to leverage each other. What's your uniqueness, you know, from the culture? That is the energy to drive your product. You know, not only product design, but you need the energy. And that is all hidden in the, the so-called subculture, not only high culture. And then subculture is a treasure box of the new products functions. For example, this is just a Japanese subculture, but the same analogy, you can do it in your country, convert in your own culture what can be materialized into the products function. That is the point. You know, take a look at this book and then just run you know, what the trouble we have now and how to solve the, the, the problem we have now. Then you can convert into, into your own culture. Especially the business person who wants to, who is looking for that add value. What's the add value? You know, what's the fascinating the people? What kind of service or function of the products can be into the money. That's the fundamental of the business. And then, so in that sense, anybody relating to the business uh, can learn something from this. And also this uh, animation fund, uh, they, they know what the animation, you know, if I have to explain what the Pokemon is to whom doesn't know about the Pokemon. It takes a lot of time and energy, but you know, a lot of young people in the whole entire world know the Pokemon or Sailor Moon. So just like that, it says, just like Sailor Moon did like that in that situation, that can be the function. It's easy, you know, for un under certain age, you know, in new country or in your uh, company, you know, people, young people knows, ah, that's how it is. So it's, you know, it's a universal language. This, this subculture is a universal language, and it can be including lots of hint. So now, this is the world famous uh, mobile phone, or intellectual termi terminal. And it's a computer, high-tech gadget. And everybody is talking about this. On the other hand, 
Here is the toy mobile phone. In this book, I'm trying to merge the function of the toy and the function of the tool. The tool is purely designed for the work, for the work. And so they're looking for the task operations, quality operations, reliability, and then this kind, you know, so-called, uh, this is uh, almost like a weapon. And then this is totally opposite of, what's the opposite word of weapon is a toy. So toy design is looking for how to attract the kids only. Kid doesn't have any logic. That's a purely emotional creature. So in my book, I am uh, trying to explain how to merge those two product, you know, piece-free merge. Because this is just not a completed product yet. It, it, this needs the soul. And this is the purely soul. This is the purely function. The new generation of the products has to, you know, has the both function at the same time. Emotional design is a word already known. So, but the, what I'm saying is beyond the emotional design, kids are purely only mechanism of emotion. And at the same time, actually very elderly people also same. Very elderly people in the nursing home love this too, not this machine. It's too difficult and they don't have to win the war. When you are the child and when you are adult, very adult, you love this. Only in between certain time, you love this. Why? But the hint, new generation's engineering hint is hidden in this kind of products.